Theater Guild presents the dynamic Debbie Blackwell Cook, October 17th at Clubhouse 5. $20 includes coffee and dessert by Chopin Bakery. Tickets at theaterguildlw.com. All profits benefit our scholarship fund. River, we for me, got nothing left to lose. We down here in the Delta with these muddy water blues. Muddy. And welcome back. The Theater Guild is presenting an evening of music for an autumn night. It sounds very comforting and calm and like mellow and easy to go. I want to welcome the dynamic Debbie Blackwell Cook and Roxanne Kine to the program. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So what is the music for an autumn night all about? Where'd you come up with the idea? Well, let me start. First of sure. all, um, I call uh, Deborah my diva. She is. She's been on Broadway. She's had a hit record in in the UK. She's just amazing. When she sang a cappello, she came to my class. When she sang a cappello, um, I mean, shivers ran down my spine because you don't get this kind of quality or this kind of gift. Oh. So um, then, years later, here we are. We're putting on a show where we're representing her and highlighting her. Mm -hmm. And um, go ahead and cut, cut me up and tell me, cut me off and <laughs> tell me. <laughs> jump, jump right in, Debbie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just jump right in there and tell Well, us. you know, it's for an autumn night. Autumn night. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, uh, it actually was about my life. We had to do a lot of changing because a lot of Murphy's Law tried to date me, and I told him, we're not dating, honey. I'm doing this show. Even if I have to do it a cappella, which I like to do for you at some point. Okay, we'll get but, there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's, you know, songs about jazz, is jazz, a little jazz, mm -hmm. a little disco, a little uh, this and a little of that, you know. They have mm -hmm. to come if they want to see what it is, okay. you know. When you first started, what, when did you first know, when you, back in the day when you were a little girl, when did you first know, hey, there's a, I, I enjoyed singing and I actually can do it. When did you, what was that first kind of discovered? Well, I wasn't aware of it because my mama told me that I was in the crib doing ah. <laughs> uh, you know, there. And then I started in church, and um, I'm, I'm telling the story about uh, church because my, my godmother, uh, I had a teeny little voice, and she would say, sing out, Deborah. She'd be playing the organ, mm -hmm. and she'd be, sing out, Deborah. And then she'd get that, that face that only mamas could give you. A <laughs> <laughs> sing out, Deborah. And so she pulled from me, um, what was deep embedded in me mm -hmm. that I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it happened there. So I'd say from knee high to a grasshopper, I have been really, really just singing. And in the sixth grade, my teacher told my mother, either she should be an actress or a journalist or a singer, because this girl, because I did an um, grammar school the night before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And they were like, where did this child come from? <laughs> Who is this? Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, it's a gift. It's yeah, a gift from it, God. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a God given gift that mm -hmm. I treasure mm -hmm. and I wanted to share. So, how did you convince her to say, hey, why don't you come over here and do a show for us? It, it wasn't me who convinced her. I always knew that she has to do something, and you know, you know I was planning something even bigger than Lucy. But it is you, because well, it no. happened in your class. Well, they, did, they wouldn't have known about me if it well, wasn't Well, that's for you. true. And, um, and then, of course, um, Debbie performs in my class, which is uh, we, we invite guests the last day to show what we've learned. And Deborah, for two semesters in a row, the only time she's done that, um, uh, sang for us, and she got a standing ovation twice every okay. time, and that's never happened. And I have great actors in my class, I have great everything, but it was the energy, the movement, the quality, and it, I mean, it just brought people up on their feet, and that's the power of Debbie. Okay, well that seems like a lead in to ask if you might do us a little favor and have maybe a, a, a second or a minute or so of a cappella. Oh, please. Oh, I will. <laughs> Before I do it, I have to say, I have a son that's an angel. 
And I would tell my kids, whatever you would do and you didn't get paid for and you love it, that's your passion. Mm -hmm. And my son came to me in a dream and said to me, uh, he passed away 12 years ago, he oh. said, Mommy, sing my life, because he knows that's my passion. So I'm singing to you, but I'm singing to God and my son and all of you in the woods, okay? Okay. Your favorite song, okay? Home. Home. <laughs> When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. I wish I was home. I wish I was back there with the things I've been knowing. Wind that makes the tall trees bend into leaning. Suddenly the raindrops that fall have a meaning, sprinkling the scene, makes it all clean. Oh, if you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know we should believe the things that we see. Tell us, should we run away? Should we try and stay? Or would it be better just to let things be? Living here in this brand new world might be a fantasy. But it's taught me to learn. So it's real, real to me. And I've learned that we must look inside our hearts to find. A world full of love like yours, like mine, like home. Wow. <laughs> I, I, let me stand up. I, 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 this chair is too high, otherwise I jump down. <laughs> you fall down. Uh, if that doesn't sell tickets, folks, nothing will. Let's put that flyer up on the screen for folks to take a look at when Debbie's yes. going to be doing this again. It's going to be coming up Thursday, October 17th, Clubhouse 5. Doors open at 6 p.m. A show begins at 6.30. There'll be a GRF bar. Tables uh, of 10 are available for purchase. Cost is twenty dollars per person. Amazing. And you get a and you get a dessert from Chopin Bakery, and you get coffee for only twenty dollars. So, please, that's all the side stuff. Debbie's gonna be singing. <laughs> of course, of I, course. I go there with water and bread. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to you coming. Please. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us, Theater Guild. Make sure you guys get out there and see this show. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. We got the movie preview for uh, this weekend. When we come back, stay with us. <laughs>